All right, ladies and gentlemen, the next thing we're going to be looking at is editing your forms. All right, you're going to be doing so via the Visual Form Builder Pro, one of the most robust and best WordPress plugins for forms I've ever used. All right, so to edit your forms, scroll down on the left sidebar and look for Visual Form Builder Pro. When you're there, click on All Forms, unless, of course, you want to add a new form, in which case, click on Add New. All right, so All Forms. Now, let's say we want to change some options, maybe the email address that it's going to for the volunteer opportunities. You can always click on the actual name of it or the edit button. I like to click on the name. Once that page loads, here's where we're going to be making our changes. Let's say we want to add a new connection team option. Go over to connection team, click on this little arrow on the right side, and here you see our options. If you want to add a single option, hit Add Option. Once you're done with that, hit Save, and you're done. You've just added an option to that form. All right, if you want to take one away, hit the minus button. It's about how simple editing the actual elements on the form are. Let's say instead of saying name, you want to say first name. You're just going to change the title here to first name. All right? quite simple. Let's say you want to add another option to this form. Let's say you want to collect uh, a bit of info from them about why they want to volunteer. In fact, let's say we want to give them a comments box. Better yet, you know what? Why not give them that? So we're going to click on text area here on the left hand side and whatever we click on here on the left is always going to be amended to the bottom of the form. All right, Which is actually perfect. That's where we want it anyway. So let's call this comments or questions. Got some options here for how large you want this to be. We'll stick with medium. You can go with large or small. And then we're going to go ahead and just simply hit save form. Now if we take a look at our website, let's see if that did indeed come up. And sure enough, here you are, question or comments. All right, so that's about <clears throat> as simple as it is. Actually, that's about as simple as it ever could be to edit a form within your website. All right, now let's look at changing the email address a form goes to. All right, in order to do that, you're going to click on settings once you're inside of the form. And then you're going to come down here to email. All right, here's where you're going to change things. Emails to, all right? You're going to want to change this to go to whatever email you want it to go to, or simply hit add, and you can add another emails to, all right? This way the form actually gets emailed to two or more people, as many as you prefer. All right, once you've done that, again, make sure to hit the save option right up here. And there you go. You've just edited the actual functioning functionality of the form. All right. See you in the next video.